and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. Uh, we today are going to continue on with our turn six setup. We've been setting up the continental United States. Uh, this was something that maybe I had put aside a little bit. It's maybe in the first couple of turns at least, not the most important place. Uh, and so to keep on a schedule, I'd set it aside. We have decided it is time to get serious about the continental US. And so we are doing that now. Uh, I had mentioned just a couple of house cleaning things. I had mentioned yesterday that I may be doing a stream at three o'clock to finish up the turn uh, or to finish up this part of the setup anyway. I ended up not doing that. Uh, you know, I'm always going to do this uh, 10 a.m. Pacific one, uh, but I ended up not doing the 3 o'clock because I've got a lot of things that I'm creating for the channel, and I just thought it was a better idea to go ahead and work on some of those. And so just so you know, some of the things that are coming your way or uh, you shall be seeing in the not too distant future is one um, I am putting together a field of glory 2 tutorial now that game is not as complicated obviously as a Grigsby game it's essentially chess with uh, you know orders of battle <laughs> so uh, that's probably going to be two or three episodes uh, and I should have the first one of those up today the reason I'm doing that one is Field of Glory Medieval uh, is coming out or Field of Glory 2 Medieval is coming out soon uh, and so I wanted to get that up as uh, you know Field of Glory 2 the base game uh, is going to have very similar play you know mechanics it's all pretty much going to be exactly the same the only thing that will really be different are the forces and then once medieval comes out on february 4th i'll then do kind of an add-on uh episode that says hey here are the differences or you know if you watch my previous uh video or videos tutorial videos here's something that's a little bit different about medieval and so uh those will be coming out shortly uh, then I'm also going to be finishing up the tutorial for War in the East. Uh, I'm working on episode 10 now. Episode 10 will be about ground units <clears throat> and combat. So we're going to start, you know, hasty attacks and deliberate attacks and how all of that works. Uh, that will probably be the last. And I'm also going to do like some grand strategy tactics uh, kind of things, uh, you know, how do you try to win the game as the Axis? Uh, I may eventually do an episode about playing the Soviets and how that differs, uh, but for now I think I'm going to keep it to 10, so that will be the last episode. And then I'm going to start a Let's Play for War in the East, so you can see me attempt to take Leningrad, Moscow, and Rostov in the south. Uh, and see if I can do it in about 17 or 18 turns because if you don't make it by then you're not going to do it in 1941 if you get into that winter it is a problem uh, so we have that now yesterday you may have noticed that I put up a you know a breaking news uh, that may be a bit hyperbolic but uh, Distant Worlds 2 there was a live stream uh, with Slyth Slytherin easy for me to say uh, yesterday talking about distant worlds 2 which i can't wait for it is going to be a lot of fun distant worlds universe is a great game uh, distant worlds 2 is going to be trying to take the crown of the greatest space-based game you know now you have stellaris uh, as someone in the comments told me yesterday you have aurora 4x if you like a lot of menus and the real nitty-gritty uh, but Anyway, so that's going to be coming. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing kind of a top five games of the month starting in February. So the games that I'm looking at or that are the most popular right now, things that, you know, basically the games that most strategy players are playing. And then I'll also try to throw in a couple of indie titles with that uh, so we can support some indie developers. That will actually be a project that is done by my wife. Uh, my wife is a former news broadcaster, uh, so she knows how to sit in front of a camera and hopefully talk about strategy games. No, she'll do a great job. Um, and so 
that's going to be part of the channel upcoming. Uh, so those are kind of some of the things we're working on, and it's uh, it's exciting. The channel's growing. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. It's growing very, very quickly, much more quickly than I would have expected. So uh, somebody or some of you out there are really enjoying the content, and I do appreciate that. Uh, I have, you know, set up uh, a donation page if you want to do that. Obviously, no pressure whatsoever. Uh, let me tell you, YouTube uh, does not quite, uh, you know, cut it for the amount of time you put into something like this as far as their advertising, but that's fine. I'm not obviously doing it for the money. I love these games. Uh, but if you do want to do something like that, I do want to say thank you to uh, Rule 303. Made a very generous contribution. Um, and also, you know, subscribe, like, uh, comment. Uh, let's just keep a lot of activity on the page. I think it will only keep growing and growing. Uh, the ultimate goal here is to be the biggest strategy game channel on YouTube and Twitch. So let's do it. I mean, that's a big goal. But hey, five years from now, who knows what could happen. Uh, anyway, let's jump back into War in the Pacific. Now, we're setting up Los Angeles. And when I left you last time, um, we had gone through a lot of the ships that had started in L.A. Now, many of them are on their way. So we have, uh, when I brought the game up here, <clears throat> I was focused on this transport. This transport is taking... Uh, I believe 75 planes, it might be a little less, yeah, there's like 23 in this squadron, I think 21 in another. It's taking nearly 65, 70 planes here out to Nomaya, and the big thing we're kind of working on this turn is we have another task force that needs to go to Nomaya, and so we're kind of leaving those to the side for now and working through the rest of, of the task forces. And anything that's still left here at L.A., uh, we are, you know, trying to figure out, is it on its way? Is it going where we need it to be going? Uh, and if so, you know, uh, that's good. We still keep it in green. Usually task forces I like to look at pretty much every turn unless I set them up to continuous supply. Once they go continuous supply, you know, I, I'll maybe put them in orange, knowing that if the Japanese start to pressure that continuous supply, that I'll be looking at everything in that region anyway. Uh, and so whether it's, you know, green, orange, or purple, it wouldn't really matter. I'm going to be looking at it anyway. Uh, so moving down, I was on row 1496. Uh, assuming that your spreadsheet is the same as mine. The only way I've modified the rows is if I've taken out Soviet units. Uh, in this case, before the continental U.S., there were no Soviet units. So if you have kept every all the rows then the, the same, uh, we should be on 1496. But if not, it is uh, the civilian cargo ship, the Manaala, there at LA and our um, original orders were no action here. Let's make sure it's still up here. Uh, as I said, this is an X A K L. It's an X. No, it's not. Okay, uh, because we said later we're going to use it for supplier runs to the Channel Islands, and it's very possible that earlier I had set this on its way, and it looks like we have a little task force out here at the beautiful Channel Islands. I, I mentioned last time, I can see the Channel Islands, uh, literally right now. Um, they're out, well, it's a little foggy in Southern California today, uh, so, you know, can I see it? Uh, almost, almost, but uh, the Channel Islands are very close. Uh, so we do have the Mana Ala and the Susanna out here and that's yep looks good okay uh, we've got them on continuous supply you know question whether we need to be making that many runs to the Ch channel islands also question what else are we going to do with these ships they don't really have a great endurance they don't have much capacity in, in some respects like sending them out to pearl harbor they're going to eat you know half their fuel getting out there and getting back uh and so for now i'm going to leave them orange you know, we'll just have a lot of stuff out at the Channel Islands. Uh, it's interesting. We took a, uh, a tour of the Channel Islands uh, when I first moved here. Uh, lots of dolphins, lots of whales out there and stuff like that. Uh, but looking at those islands, I cannot really imagine there ever being a base there. <laughs> it's very, 
very kind of desolate and uh, remote. But anyway, that's uh, interesting to me since uh, I'm familiar with them now. Uh, the next thing we've got here is the Mariposa. This is going to be part of our Nomaya task force. We're going to leave that white. Okay. Now we're going to get down into some of the ASW stuff that we've got going on. Uh, we've got the YP-239 and the YP-241 that should both be running ASW. Now we do not have enough ASW out here. That is for sure. Oh, hey, Stanley, how's it going? Good to see you. Always good to see you, Stanley. Um, yeah, I'm back at it. Uh, sorry, Stanley, I, if you didn't catch me earlier, I said, I, you know, yesterday I had mentioned I maybe would stream at 3 p.m. my time, and I know that you had responded, hey, you know, that's okay for Europe. Uh, it ended up I was working on other stuff uh, for the channel, uh, nothing else. This is kind of what I work on nowadays. Um, so I was working on stuff for the channel and I was like, you know, I just don't have a, an hour to spare to live stream. So, you know, I'll always be here at 10 a.m. Pacific for this regular stream. Uh, Three o'clock sometimes. It just depends. I actually think I might be putting a war in the east, um, kind of a live play uh, at 3 p.m. Pacific every day. So, you know, if you're interested in that game, I may be doing that in the very near future. I'm almost done with that uh, tutorial. Uh, so we're going to do a Let's Play. Okay, so we're looking for these YPs. It could be that they're in port, and they are. Okay, so we set them up uh, as, together. These YPs, you know, their anti-sub is one. Um, that's not doing a whole lot, but maybe they'll spot something. Uh, we also have some planes running ASW. We need more anti-sub here at LA. In this in this LA San Diego, uh, you know, Channel Islands corridor here, we've got to get some more ASW. Luckily, we're getting a lot of destroyers uh, within three turns, I believe. Okay, so this ASW is good. We're going to turn that orange. That looks good. Um, oh. That's Los Angeles. Okay, so we have moved through LA, and now we've got to think about how we're going to get out here to Nomaya. Now, we've got this set up. We know we have plenty of transport and cargo ships, so this actually makes it quite a bit easier uh, because what we can do is go, you know, we're going to dock this transport. We're going to load troops. We're going to see everything that's going... Oh, we also have this Lunga here. Now, we're probably going to send that on one of the faster transports uh, since it'll sort of be by itself uh, for this one amphibious corps. Uh, one of those president, like President Jackson or President Monroe, one of those transports will probably send out to Lunga. Now, we've got... It's interesting. We're setting up this 113th Base Force for Brisbane. Um... Okay, um, I have to think about what the idea is there. We've got a lot of st let's go look at Brisbane and why we why Cole thought maybe we either need a base force there or we're going to bring it here originally and then move it. Now we've got a base force already here. It's got you know pretty good naval support. Uh, its overall support's not great. Uh, the naval support's pretty good. It doesn't have much aviation support, I will say that. What's our support levels looking like here? So we've got 41 engineers here, three engineer vehicles, uh, only 37 AG aviation support. Maybe that's why he's ticketed that 113th for Brisbane. Um, let's go look at the 113th. Okay, it's got it's got good aviation support, and it looks like you know we've got more in the pool if we need it. Um, that reminds me, I'm going to have to take a whole episode, I think, and go into production and figure out what we're going to stop stockpiling. Uh, for instance, some of the Philippine, Filipino stuff, there's no reason to stockpile that anymore. Let's release it. Let's get it into units that we want to get uh, buffed up because the Japanese are almost there. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah, Stanley, I know. You know, I was getting the turns moving so fast there, I got up to turn six very quickly because I was kind of like, okay, in between, I'll set up uh, the turn 
and you know at this point that was taking me an eight or ten hour day to set up the turn and then i was like okay then we'll live stream the resolution the next day i'm slowing that way down uh this from now on or i say from now on at least through the first 15 turns or so, I'm gonna spend the live streams during the week talking about why we're doing what we're doing, setting it up, and then on Sundays, we'll resolve the turn. Uh, so, you know, I know that sounds like a slow pace for a game where you're gonna be playing 1,500 turns, uh, but those will speed up later on and your turns will speed up later on because, you know, once we get the spreadsheet lined up, uh, we can kind of fly through the stuff. Uh, once, you know, you've got continuous supply going to a lot of places or you've got your troops where they need to be, uh, the, the turns will go by faster at that point. But at least for the first 15 or 20, probably till, until we get through December of 41 historically, uh, I'm going to do it this way. And we're just going to, you know, live stream during the week, talk about all the moves we're making. And then on Sunday, we'll resolve the turn and move on to the next one. I mean, I think most the reason most people are watching these is to learn. We might as well sit here and learn from each other and talk about the game and talk about what uh, we're doing and why we're doing it. Uh, to me, that probably seems more productive than just watching me click off turns uh, and getting way behind. So I decided to change that up a little bit. Um, oh, okay, back to this task force here. Let's see. Okay, so we've docked it. And we're going to load troops. That's where we were. Uh, we've got Lunga. And now I see why that might be going to... Br oh, that's what I was doing. Let's go back to that 113th base force. Uh, it, it's got that aviation support for Brisbane. It's got some motorized support. Okay. Um, it doesn't have any rifle squads. Uh, really? So, okay, that's fine. This is going to Brisbane. We've got a lot of base forces over here in the U.S. Uh, Brisbane, you can think of worse places to send it than Brisbane, that's for sure. One of the major, Brisbane and Sydney down, you know, in the south and southeast, Townsville up in the northeast, and then Darwin in the north. Uh, and so, you know, building up Brisbane is never a bad idea, especially with more support. Okay, okay. Let's, we're going to make this all one task force that goes to Nomaya first, and then eventually... We're going to set this to Brisbane as its home port, not because it's really going to be its home port, but eventually um, it will go to Brisbane, unload everything else, and then we'll bring it all the way back. Now, as you can see, we're going to have to maybe, well, not maybe, we're going to have to probably make a pit stop, uh, maybe at Auckland. Uh, maybe we'll go to Auckland and then bring it north. So let's load troops and let's try to do everything that's going to Nomaya. Now, I was going to do this so um, scientifically. I started writing down the load amounts and whatnot. Oh, we need to get this coastal artillery out to the Channel Islands. Okay, we've got transports here. We can do that, no problem. Uh, 206 coastal is supposed to be going to Seattle. We'll deal with that in a minute. We also have a Luganville here. Okay, um, so let's do Nomaya. Okay, so we need another one. Where is this? Not, okay, this is the number of transport. Oh, right, okay, so we need to bring a, another transport in. Well, okay, um, should have counted those before we started. Let's go add another transport. Let's add kind of our smallest one to this. Oh, did you see what I just did there? I unclicked all of those loadings. If you do not, it will put that 1% of that unit on here, and then we're stuck with what we've got. So let's go look at our transports, and let's see. Uh, okay, so we down here, we actually, the Luckenbach only has 12 speed. Everything else is going at 14, 16, 15. Um... I don't know why we would have... Let's get the Luckenbach out of here. And let's try to get a cargo ship that got a little more speed. Like the Examiner. Wow, this is a nice ship here. Um, let's put the Examiner in here. It's got a set... You know, it's not going to slow anybody down. As a matter of fact... Okay, so that's an XAK. Let's get the 
Agamonte. Let's go look at our APs here. We've got speeds of 19, 19, and these have good endurance. Uh, 19, 19, okay, but they don't have a ton of, uh, of capacity. I mean, not terrible capacity, but not good capacity either, really. We've got the Monterey and the Matsonia that go 22. Wow. Um, and so we've got the Mariposa down here that's going 22. Interesting. Okay, well. That's right, Stanley. They can, <laughs> they can play some footy in Brisbane. You and I are going to have to talk some more footy. Uh, like I say, I you know, I'm not like an expert in the game or whatever. I love to watch it when I can. It used to be on ESPN late night here in the States. Then it moved over to like Fox Sports uh, for a time. It would be on at like 2 o'clock in the morning or something. Um you know, so I, I'll always like watch the grand final, which I know is like the Super Bowl of footy, right? And uh, but I try to catch games when I can. Then for a while, I was I even subscribed to that AFL, like you know, you can watch it from anywhere, any device kind of thing. Then I thought, well, I'm just not using this enough. So anyway, back to the task at hand here. We've got the Mariposa out here. So right now we have 5,400 troop, and we've got you know approximately let's call it 18,000. Okay. 5,418,000. And the, the guys that we're loading on here uh, are going to be 240, 2404. Okay, we're not, we don't have much of a troop load that's going. That's the thing that's going on. Uh, but we do need more than 5,400 because of these guys here. Okay, so I'm going to add... Um, I'm going to add where, yeah, the Monterey, well, I don't know if we need that much. Do we need that much? Sure, why not? Let's do the Monterey. It's going to speed things up. Let's do the Monterey, throw that in there. Okay, now we've got one, two, three. Now we've only got three, though. That's why I hate using these 22s, because, you know, it doesn't, add to the number of units that you can actually get on these things. Um, we've got the Barnett already. Okay, let's take the Monterey back out. Let's put in maybe the Henderson. That's just like the Barnett. Okay. We don't want that 12 in here, but the Harris looks all right. Let's put the Harris in there. Okay, great. Now we've got four APs, but I think we need five. So we may have to put one of these better 22s in here. That'll get us all the way there for sure. What's the Santa Barbara? The Santa Barbara looks all right. It goes at 19. Okay, let's do that. Now the slowest thing we have in here is the Agamonte. Uh, it does have a good cargo, um, but I think let's take that out. Um, let's put the Bellatrix in. That takes a lot of cargo. Okay, so now we've got five. Done. All right, now let's go see if we can load on here what we need to load on here for Nomaya. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we've got six. Um, We're going to need one more AP in here. Okay, it looks like we may do like the President Polk or something. Why don't we do that? They go to 17. It's similar. Let's call that done. Now let's load our troops. Okay, so I think we can get everything to Nomaya with this group that we've got here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, we've got a lot of extra troop and cargo capacity there. Um, that's fine. We'll, we'll just take a lot of supplies. We're going to Nomaya anyway. Uh, there's no reason not to get some supplies in there. So let's try to verify this. Looks like we can get it all on there. It's going to do some allocation for us here. Uh, let's, let's try this use minimum of ships though. Let's see if we can okay, so the Henry S. Gove, or Grove does not need to go with us. That's fine. That will make this a little more efficient. 
and let's accept the load. All right. Um, and so for any of that extra cargo capacity, the game will automatically, yeah, you're right, Stanley. It is, uh, it is a trial and error to get the, you know, the most efficient kind of what works together. Now this task force is going to move out at a 15. Uh, we could make it faster if we would have put in some of those uh, 17 speed, uh, you know, but 16 knots, 15 knots, 17 knots. I get it. They're big distances, so you're going to end up, it's going to be a turn, maybe two turns difference getting to know Maya. Uh, but I'm just not going to sweat that. It's not that big of a deal. So now they're all loading on here. We will now set this to go to Nomaya. I do think we're going to get some red. Well, I know we'll get some red here uh, originally uh, for our distance. And that is because we still have the home port set at LA. Uh, but we're going to set the home port to Brisbane. Now, the problem is Brisbane to L.A., I believe, is 8,800 miles. Or check that. Sydney to L.A. is 8,800, okay? Just as a rough number to keep in your head. The problem is that's kind of if you're doing it at the most efficient. Oh, we did get in there. Nice. All right. Uh, for now. The problem is is that uh, we're going to be using waypoints. Uh, and when we use the waypoints, that, of course, is not as efficient. Now, the, these guys, I think I'm going to send down to Tahiti. I would rather they not fuel up here. So we're going to put them just south of Tahiti. Tahiti. They should kind of sail right down in there. And then I'm going to... You know, as you see, they would come to Tahiti. Now they're going to come up here, like right behind. I, I, you know, obviously we don't want them to come this far north. Um, and so I'm going to send them through Auckland. And then I'm going to have them re go ahead and uh, just do a tactical refuel, just to the extent they may need it for something. I just, I like to always put on minimal or tactical, even though. I do believe we're totally in the green with these guys to get all the way to Brisbane. Um, well, now, hold on. When we were talking about Brisbane before, I said we should do that because we were going to put the Brisbane guys on there. Um, yeah, we don't really need to do that. So why don't we do this? Let's keep it at uh, LA. Fine. Now, they're not going to make it. I get that. You can see only the 15,000 mile ships are going to make it uh, there and back, but that's okay because we are going to, um, we could do a tactical refuel because it will be refueling on the way there and on the way back. Uh, that does slow us down on the way back. We may have to look at that when it's on its way back, but return by the same route. And so now we see our route. Okay, we're going to head, you know, way south. There's no way the, the Japanese should be anywhere in this area. Uh, it's going to, you know, turn the corner here at Tahiti, head dead west to Auckland, get some fuel. Uh, the first time around, it may not need it. There may be a couple of ships that need a tactical ref uh, refuel. And then we're going to come to Nomaya, dump those troops off. I made that sound very unceremonious. I'm sure at on the island they will have a huge celebration when these American troops land. And then we're going to come straight back down and back. Okay, that's not the most efficient, uh, but quite frankly, safety is far more important than efficiency at this point. Um, so that is good. Now, Bayard brings up a great point. One of the reasons that we had these other um, we had these other ships that were ticketed for this transport with uh, the, our fighters on it. So this is this transport we've been talking about uh, a few times. This transport here, it is heading down eventually to Nomaya as well. So it will just be leading these guys by a little bit because I think that I took pretty much the same route. This is my safety, my safety route, rounds the corner at Tahiti, refuels at Auckland and north to Nomaya. This is those P-39s. And as Bayard pointed out last time, 
uh, and was and very rightly so. I had kind of lost the plot with that task force a little bit uh, because I kept saying, well, why did we have these other ships? And uh, thank you to Bayard for pointing that out. The reason we had those other ships in there is as you get going here, I don't think it's going to be a big deal here or otherwise I would turn this right back around and go to port is, um, well, I think, we, can we split, we can't split them out here. Shoot. Uh, I guess that makes sense. You're not going to be passing planes to other ships. The reason we have these here is because normally you would want to split the, you can split these into three, right? So you would want nine ships. It becomes, instead of three units, it becomes nine units. You would want to split those into three uh, each and then put them on nine different uh, cargo ships and split them up in different task forces. Why? Well, because if the Japanese come across this task force, I mean, you talk about a juicy, juicy hit here. If they find this and blow, you know, 70 some planes out of, out of <laughs> the cargo hold, um, that is just going to be an absolute disaster. Now, if we were playing a human player, I quite honestly would probably take this and send it back to port and reapportion it as it is. And given the fact we are taking this, you know, way, 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 way Southern route. Um, I'm not going to worry about it as much. One thing I think I may do though, is change this. Well, We'll worry about this later. I'm going to keep looking at this task force over and over. When it gets to Auckland, I'm going to see what's at Auckland and maybe add something. Because this part of the journey is not, you know, is fairly safe. Once we get out of the L.A. San Diego corridor there and really get moving along, there's just there should not be much down here. That being said, from Auckland up to Nomaya may be a whole different story. And so once we get to Auckland, we may move some things around. Uh, so thank you, Bayard. That was an excellent point and a good teaching point. You know, if you're learning the game and you're like, uh, you know, how do you do certain things? Uh, definitely later in the game. Uh, and also if you're playing a human player that maybe, you know, kind of knows all the tips and tricks of the allied players and knows this corridor, things like that. Uh, you would probably want to turn this thing around. You always want to split those squadrons up into threes, put them on, you know, different cargo ships, and also maybe even split them into, well, I say maybe, split them into different task forces. So if you lose one of the task forces, you lose, you know, like uh, 10 planes. You don't lose 70 planes. Um, and that was a very good point. Uh, let's see. Let's keep bit moving here. Uh, March Field. So we're done with LA. I think now that that task force is on its way, I always want to give it one more look. We still have, oh, no, 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 no. We're not done. Um, let's do these task forces out to no or uh, one to Brisbane. Um, we've, so we've got one to Brisbane. We've got one out to the Channel Islands. Okay, let's do this one really fast. This is an easy one. We'll take our worst AP, whatever that might be. Uh, this one's just, this is that uh, AP destroyer. Well, it's only got troop capacity. It's got no cargo capacity. Let's look at this again. It's a 170 troop. Okay, so actually we may use that APD for this, just for the troops. And then we've got a 5121 cargo load. Okay, um, so let's bring up that APD again. Okay, this gets all the troops on there, and you've got to have one transport with it. Uh, so that gets the troops on, and then we need a cargo that's over 5121. Uh, oh, the Luckenbach that we just took out, we could use that, although that's a pretty dang good cargo ship. Uh, but it's actually not as good as the Ruth Alexander. It's going to take one of these to do it. Um, it's also not as good as the Gove, or Grove, I'm sorry, Henry S. Grove. Okay, so let's take the Luckenbach and let's take that Waters APD. We'll make them a transport. Uh, Waters, K-A-K-I Luckenbach. Okay, done. 
This is a very quick little you know, jump over to the Channel Islands. Uh, we're going to set their destination to the Channel Islands. And then we'll have them come right back. We'll also have them auto disband. No, we don't want them, sorry. We don't want them to auto disband at the Channel Islands, obviously. When it gets back to LA, we'll disband it. Um, so we're going to put transport channel. Okay, great. Let's dock it. Uh, let's load some troops. Here it is. Let's try to verify this load. Okay, great. That works. We will accept that load and on it goes onto these two. Uh, so that's good. And then we have these Brisbane uh, units. So let's get back down here for a second. We got a lot of units down here. Uh, that's an LA unit. Uh, yeah, we're still gonna see these Nomaya units because we've only put one chit of each on. This is what we've got going to channel. We've got Nomaya, Nomaya. We've got LA, more Nomaya, LA. Okay, we've got a Luganville here. That is the second Marine. Okay, so we've got Luganville, another Nomaya, and Brisbane. Okay, Luganville and Brisbane. Oh, and we've got somebody going to Lunga. Oh, that's right, the one amphibious core. Okay, so we need three single transports, uh, and we may need cargo with each one of them. All right, let's go see exactly where we're going here at Lunga. Wow, now this is interesting. So we're sending that one amphibious core out to Guadalcanal already. Uh, this these guys are getting thrown right into the thick here. You know, I mean, we're very close to some Japanese territory. You see, they've already got units here at Tarawa, at Macon. Now, you know, where are they going next? We don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start building up that base. That's interesting. I don't generally play that way. Again, you know, I've kind of got my own way of doing things now. This time, I'm trying to. Um, yeah, Bayard, as he says, you know, we're already planning for a counter invasion in 42. Um, oh, well, as I was saying, as you know, I'm playing a lot closer to the Cole spreadsheet. I, I haven't played that spreadsheet you know, directly in a few years. Uh, and so nowadays I'm used to not, or I don't usually do this. Let's put it that way. I think I put these guys down in Luganville and kind of build from there. Uh, but that's fine. Let's do it. This, that's kind of fun. We might get some uh, early action up there. Uh, but we need three task forces here. Ooh. We don't, we're not building a task force at Luga, at least not yet. Okay, so these guys are on their way. Let's uh, figure out which of our APs here. All right, so we've got a 22 and a 22. Those are pretty good for Luganville and Lunga. Although these are very valuable ships, 30 points, you know, they're kind of going into a hot zone there. We also have two 17s. Now this will be good. Uh, one of these will be great to go all the way to uh, Brisbane. It's got that awesome endurance here. I mean, these, you know, some of these have decent endurance too. The Santa Inez is pretty good. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, 1,800 troop load costs. That's the one amphibious going to Lunga. Okay, well, that's pretty easy. Um, question how fast we should, this would actually be perfect from a load perspective of what we need, but it probably needs to really take some, um, probably needs to take some supply with it. I mean, Lunga's not gonna have any supply, so we, we're probably gonna definitely wanna set a uh, cargo ship with it full of supply. Let's use one of, these guys, I think. Let's just use the President Moreau, you know? All right, let's do it. Let's do a transport task force. Whoa, there we go, transport. Let's do the President Monroe. Great, now it's moving at a 17. Uh, the go Grove, that's got a really nice, that's got a nice capacity. That would set up the canal, you know, Guadalcanal pretty well. Uh, Ruth Alexander's kind of the same. These guys are also 16. We've got a bunch of nice cargo here, cargo ships. Uh, this is a 14. We're going to want something close to a 17. Um, 
well here let's sort Chris let's sort uh, let's see okay well there's a 17 with some cargo uh, it's got good endurance it's already in that task force though shoot okay uh, well let's take off in task force Looks like 16 is about as good as we're going to get it. I'm just going to pick the Ruth Alexander. That's fine. You don't need to get down to the, you know, to really get down to that level. Transport to Lunga. This is going to really have some crazy uh, waypoints. Uh, they both have really good endurance, luckily. Um, well, let's dock it. Uh, let's load. And let's select our unit here. Oh, shit. Really? That does not have a... I guess I should have looked at that, huh? Okay, well, let's transfer that. Let's transfer the Monroe out. Gosh darn it. Santa Inez. Okay, that takes a 2505. It's got a 19 speed. Uh, done. Let's just do that. Good enough, close enough. Uh, docked, load troops, and let's select our Lungo. Let's verify that load. Everything looks good. Let's accept it. All right. Now this is when you use that mini map. Uh, let's go down here to the Guadalcanal. We'll move to Lunga. Now it can make it, but both of these ships can make it all the way there and all the way back before we do waypoints, so that's nice. Um, for this one, I really do like to take that southern route, but gosh, it's going to take a long time. Now this is a little faster uh, task force than what we usually got, have going down this way. Let's just see if this puts us in the red if we go down this way. Yeah, it does, oh, just slightly. Wow, okay. Um, that's fine. We'll run this. Let's run this just a little further north. <laughs> that gets us in just barely, but we are going to have to set another waypoint because I do want it to go uh, directly west, sort of. Sort of. I mean, we obviously you can't have it go up this way. That's that would be absurd. Uh, but we are keeping it quite a bit south of everything here. Let's set a second waypoint here. Does it get us in? Oh, we're 16 hexes over the top of that. Um, hmm. Well, let's go back. Let's make sure following all this you know what if we're gonna have to refuel anyway let's just take it our normal route we'll take it to Auckland we'll get a tactical refuel down there uh, that's fine not the end of the world uh, better safe than sorry so that is waypoint two we'll do a tactical refuel there just in case it thinks it needs some I mean it's not gonna need much when it comes through Auckland the second time uh, because we are going to return by the same route. Now, after doing that, let's go make sure. Yeah, it's going to come straight north. This is how I want it to go. Um, I want it to kind of just go straight north up like that uh, as fast as it can. This is pretty fast task force, so that, that works for me. Okay, so we've got Lunga. Now, let's go look at the unit going. That's this unit. Now, we have the Brisbane unit here. This, there's really no big speed requirement. We can take our slowest, well, it's going a long ways though, right? Um, oh, let's go, this is going to be almost all cargo. 304 and 20, let's call it 300 and 2600. Okay. Let's look at our APs. All right, so the William Ward borrows, but gosh darn it, a 12... I'll never get there. Um, Twenty. I hate to use my 22s, but it might not be the worst thing in the world to get these out in the Pacific anyway. Get them over to Australia and just set their home base over in Australia. Uh, but but generally, these 22s, you want to save them, send them to Pearl Harbor, and they will make kind of start making the core of your assault force. Um, 
Bayard says he thinks it's a bad move to send that LCU uh, to the to Guadalcanal. I, I do not disagree, Bayard, and we'll see. Once it gets out there, if there is any pressure whatsoever coming that direction from the Japanese, and there probably will be at Rabul, potentially Port Moresby, uh, we will you know, stop up short. We'll put them either in Nomaya or more likely Suva. Uh, usually I put those guys in Suva, uh, the first amphibious. Uh, I like to have them there because I build Suva into a super fortress, uh, generally speaking. Uh, but for this game, for the playthrough, it might be a little more exciting, a little more fun to just, you know, let's see if we can get them there. If it starts to look at all like we shouldn't be getting them there, we'll get them out. Um, so we've got 325. So we're going to have to send a cargo ship with it. Okay, that's fine. Maybe the Grove, maybe yeah, the Arkansas. You know, the best setup for this would be the Burroughs and, like, the Arkansas or the Alabaman. <laughs> that just sounds... The Arkansas or the Alabaman. Um, that's going to take a long time to get over to... Okay, but that's how we're going to do it. Uh, getting that base force over there is to Brisbane. It, it'll be nice. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, but also, it's like, we, you know, let's not use ships that we really need to do other things. So let's send the Burroughs, and uh, I already said the Arkansas. Uh, let's do the Arkansas. All right. So this is going to be a transport uh, Brisbane. They both have decent... Um, well, we're just going to have them refuel when they get to Brisbane. That's fine. Let's go. Oh, that reminds me of these other task forces. We should not, we should set to do not refuel, but I'll do that in just a moment. Uh, let's set that to Brisbane. All right. This is just a base force. I'll probably just set one waypoint here. Uh, you know, once you get it far enough south, it's going to head pretty much directly west. I think really from Tahiti is fine. We could actually. You know, later in the game, I'll be trying to turn this corner here at Christmas Island. Uh, but for now, we're saying, ah, Tahiti's too far, right? It's just not that important, this base force. Um, okay, that's fine. It's going to refuel when it gets there because it's not making the whole ran round trip. So it'll refuel there. It'll be fine. Return by the same route. Yes. Now let's go uh, these other transports. Is this the one that I think I'd set this maybe up to go to Luganville? Gosh dang, that's a nice transport group. Interesting. I think this was the, some of the other ships that were supposed to go with those P-39s. Uh, I'll have to go look, but regardless. So this is going to Nomaya. We do not want it to refuel when it gets to Nomaya. This is the one going to Lunga. We couldn't refuel if we wanted to. This is going out to the Channel Islands. No refuel there. Uh, so then we have the Luganville uh, unit. Which one is that? Let's go look. No Maya. There it is. Uh, oh, the 2nd Marine Defense Battalion. Yeah, this has got a big load cost. Uh, 13 and 2600. Okay. What do we got left here? Uh, that's obviously plenty. 2,600, so that moves at a 12, though. The Grove and the Luckenbach. Did I say 2,600? But that's just, that only moves at a 12. Let's take the Grove. Oh, shoot, I didn't set up Test Force. Hold on. Let's take the Grove here. Henry S. Grove, great. And let's take one of these two. Was that enough though? Well, we're gonna find out really fast. So there's that. Uh, what was the load cost on this again? 1300, I think that's exactly what this is, isn't it? 13, no, it's 1350. Well, that works perfectly. Um, so this is gonna be a transport Luganville. Great. Awesome. Uh, let's dock it. Let's make sure it's not going to refuel when it gets there. Let's load troops. So we've got... Let's 
I not? Interesting. Let's go back. We'll have to go back and look at that Brisbane. Did I not load that up? Uh, okay, 13. It's showing you it's very close when it kind of goes this weird orange, orange color. Uh, we've also got, obviously got plenty of cargo load out here. It's a little too much, but that's fine. Yeah, so it tells you down here why it's giving you that orange. TD load safety factor, 3% troop space and 235 cargo space. So it's telling you, you know, I mean, you're really packing these troops in uh, like sardines. It's fine. Uh, we'll accept the load. We will go out to Luganville. Wasted away in Luganville. And now you see why I never became a singer. And I get to spend my days talking about strategy games with you. Uh, Luganville, right there. And let's, you know, let's run this the same waypointing that we're, we've been using, uh, which means Tahiti. To Auckland. So there's one. Uh, waypoint two. To Auckland. Uh, where it will be doing a tactical refuel on the way back. Great, and we're going to return by the same route, or route, depending on where you are. It almost makes it, so it'll do a small little tactical refuel the second time around. Um, okay, I think that's that. Uh, we Let's go look at that transport Brisbane again. Where did that go? Luganville, all right. We've got the Marine. Just make sure everything's loading up. Yeah, it, this was not. So let's dock it. Let's load that Brisbane unit. I'm not sure why I didn't see that. Uh, verify it. Looks good. Accept it. And there we have all the transports coming out of LA, at least for this turn. There's always... Stanley's asking why no DD in here. Uh, it's a good question. Uh, for one thing, we don't have any right now, really. Not none here. Uh, that's the main reason. As we get these uh, destroyers, we're getting new destroyers in like three turns. They're the really good ones. Uh, well, I say they're really they're they're good for early war. They've got a four ASW. They've got a thirty five speed. So they're pretty good. We're gonna take those out to Pearl Harbor and put them with the carriers. Uh, because I always like to keep my best destroyers with the carriers in their task force, uh, along with usually one or two light cruisers and one or two heavy cruisers. That's how I make up my carrier task forces anyway. Um, when we do that, we're then going to take all of that uh, destroyer ability that we have out there at Pearl Harbor. We've just got a mass of destroyers out there. Uh, and especially once we start peeling those destroyers that are currently with the carrier task forces off, we're going to have like 30 or 35 out by Pearl Harbor. We are going to be running, um, you know, ASW all around Pearl Harbor. But we're also going to send like 10 back to San Francisco, L.A., and San Diego, uh, maybe more, maybe 15. And we will have them escort out everything from here at least early we'll have some running straight asw patrols we will also then uh, escort them out like we have these guys escorting so we're getting to the point here in a couple of more turns maybe down you know let's say here uh, where they should be nice safe and sound this transport and well on its way uh, for these planes we'll then turn the destroyers back uh, and keep doing that, and we'll just escort things out all the time. Let's see if we do have any uh, destroyers over here at San Diego. Uh, because if we do, no, we've only got one ship at port. That's just our ACM. LA, we have none right now. We've used them all. We had, we do have this destroyer. Uh, we could put that with that nice task force. As a matter of fact, it's not, you know, it's got two anti-submarine. It's also... It's an aircraft tender, which you, you don't get a lot of the, you know, you don't want to be throwing it away, uh, but it's a point well taken. Why don't we take, we'll have it lead this uh, bigger, this, this force out. Let's uh, go ahead and put that ABD in there and we'll just have it go out a little ways, you know, with it. This gives it a little ASW. Uh, so thank you for that, Stanley.
this is how we play the game cooperatively and therefore play better. Um, now with that, we're at 56 minutes. Uh, the next thing is March Field. We are now past Los Angeles. I'm going to go ahead and set up the rest of the continental U.S. Um, <laughs> Bayard's talking about that Tom Hanks movie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up the rest of the continental U.S. Because when we come back tomorrow, uh, I'm going to delve into Pearl Harbor and what we're doing this time uh, at Pearl Harbor, now that I'm, you know, reasonably confident that uh, the main Japanese task force has uh, abandoned uh, Pearl Harbor, they are likely set, you know, heading back to the home islands of Japan. Uh, so we're going to go set up on tomorrow and Friday, and probably Saturday, Pearl Harbor, and then on Sunday, you know, then I'll be around the edges, I'll be uh, setting up all the other stuff, and then we'll resolve turn six on Sunday. And so I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, if you didn't catch it, I made some announcements earlier, or you know, right on the top of the episode, just upcoming things, what, what I'm doing. Uh, usually, always at the 10 a.m. Pacific spot, I'll be doing War in the Pacific, probably forever till the end of time. Um, and then at 3 o'clock Pacific, p 3 p.m. Pacific, I will probably start doing a War in the East Let's Play. Um, and, you know, War in the East, uh, maybe some Shadow Empire. I'll be playing kind of a game that's not War in the Pacific at that point. I also have to tell you that I've become fascinated with Planet Zoo, <laughs> which I know is not really, it's not really for this channel. Uh, you know, it's just... We, we like to play games, right? And that game is just a lot of fun. It's it's something else, building your own zoo. Uh, so, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll do a, a tutorial on that at some point. You guys can ignore that one and just look at the uh, war games. Uh, but anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, Strategy Gaming Dojo, I will.